Good morning, everyone. This morning we are going to elaborate a kind of a social subject. Relationship between parents and the progeny. Parents and the children. Most of the time, children are spoiled. Children become the indiscipline. Children don't listen to anyone. They become rogue and rowdy. They become kind of mischievous and belligerent. They become arrogant and obstinate. It's an old fault of the parents. What kind of culture and nurture? Parents have provided to these kids in their home during their formative years, meaning when they were growing up. If parents had provided them all kinds of love and affection with little discipline, little firmness, then these kids are never going to become rogue and rowdy kids, obstinate and arrogant kids. They will never actually have any kind of problem in the society. They would be disciplined kids and ahead in every single thing, education, earning, career, thinking, reading, all the best things they will adopt. So I have given the title of this subject, Permissive Parents. Parents who are too permissive, they allow them, yeah, come on now, go ahead and do anything you want. <clears throat> Don't worry about us, we are not worrying about you. Go, you take care of yourself. Now these kids are wandering around, lolling around like animals in the society everywhere. They come in contact with the wrong type of peers, wrong type of students, wrong type of the other boys and girls. And they actually go astray. They take wrong way. And they actually pick up the wrong habit. And the wrong habit eventually will culminate into some kind of juvenile delinquency. Juvenile crime. And life is ruined. They ruin their education, they ruin their career, they ruin their parents' reputation, they ruin their parents' savings on extravagant expenses, and it all happens because the parents were too permissive. Parents should be permissive, but with discipline, in a proper way. Parents must be permissive in a right way, not wrong way. <coughs> Like in India, our parents don't allow girls to go and see the last show from 9 in the night to 12. That is permissiveness, but permissiveness with carefulness. They can go from 6 to 9 or 3 to 6. Permissive, parents are permissive, they have permission to go. To go to the movie, but with some kind of demarcation line. Some Lakshman line, lines are there. Demarcation lines are there that you can do this, but this way, you can do this, but this way. You cannot do this because of the these reasons. <clears throat> permissive parents who don't care their kids, that is why they become permissive. They are tired of their kids. I don't care. I don't give a damn. I don't give a hack about my kids. I don't care whether they go, they, they live in the prison or they live in the palace. I really don't give a damn. These kind of parents are actually permissive parents. Otherwise, educated parents who know all about permissiveness, they are permissive within reasons. And they are strict within reasons. They are Spartan within reasons. Every single thing they do within reason. When they see any kind of threat to the career of their kids, they apply brack. They halt it, they stop it, they become Spartan. And they actually take away all kinds of permissiveness. But when they see that whatever the kid has been doing is okay, there's no any kind of jeopardy, there's no any kind of threat, there's no any kind of peril, there's no any kind of peril, any kind of risk, then they will allow these kids to only adopt and indulge that kind of activities. They will not allow their kids to indulge in the kind of activities which are going to jeopardize their career, jeopardize their reputation, jeopardize the reputation of their parents, jeopardize all the savings of the parents, and eventually these kind of kids can actually adopt very, very horrible habits like alcohol, gambling, 
and all sorts of things. So I have actually created four points. Point number one is excessively friendly parents. Parents should not be excessively friendly. <clears throat> yes, you be friendly, but within reason. If you are excessively friendly, the children are definitely going to take advantage of you. They are not going to take you seriously at all. And if you want someone to act according to your your volition, your willingness, if anyone you want to obey you, then you have to be literally strict. A kind of fierce psychosis must be created. You have to become like a shepherd of the cow. You are not going to beat the cow, but you are definitely going to carry the cane with you, carry the stick with you, so cow is always going to remain subdued, always going to remain disciplined. Excessive amount of friendship with kids can actually ruin the kids. Kids can actually become demanding. Kids can do all the all kinds of impulsive things. Whatever their heart said, they would do it because they have no any kind of fear of the parents that parents are going to prevent them, parents are going to scream or shout at them, parents are going to yell at them, parents are going to punish them. They have no any kind of fear. They have blank check. <clears throat> Absolutely carte blanche. Carte blanche is given by the parents that go ahead, do whatever you want and we are all the way behind you. No, you are not behind him. When he is in the prison, you are going to be at home shedding tears. Point number two. No demanding for three days. Those parents who are permissive parents, they don't demand. Three days. Discipline, dedication, and diligence. You demand these three things and be permissive. Talk to your parents, talk to your children and say, look, we are going to do whatever you want and if you are going to do whatever we want, we are going to have a reciprocal relation. Reciprocal. We are going to provide you whatever you want and you provide us with what we want and we want these three Ds. Discipline in life, in education, diligence in education, and dedication to your goal. If you are going to and you are willing to provide us these three things willy-nilly, then we are going to provide you every single thing willy-nilly within reason. Within reason, within reason. Child comes tomorrow and says, hey, uh, Dad, give me 10,000 rupees. You don't give 10,000 rupees. So the child is going to say, you told me that you are going to provide me every single thing. So you say, no, I told you that I'm going to give you every single thing within reason. Why do you need 10,000 rupees? You want to drink alcohol? You want to gamble? What, what is this that you need 10,000? No, these kind of parents. Within reason, means give them about 500 rupees almost every week so they can have a little party, little this, little that with the friends. And if you see that your 500 rupees are also ruined, then don't give 500, just come down to 200. Within reason, within reason, life can be run without, within reason, money can be spent within reason, water can be used within reason, and sleep within reason, chit-chat within reason, every single thing should be done within reason, as Gautam Buddha has said. Gautam Buddha has said beautifully, everything is good in moderation, everything is bad in extremes. If you do anything in moderation, you spend money in moderation, you spend your time to entertainment in moderation, you spend your water in moderation, eat food in moderation, it's your good. But if you go to extreme, anything that you do extreme is always horrible, always detrimental. Number three, excessive autonomy. Excessive autonomy, autonomy means freedom. You don't give your kids excessive autonomy means autonomy from horizon to horizon. No. Don't give them autonomy to do anything they want. They can come in the middle of the night, at the wee hour of night at 2 o'clock in the morning and you don't ask the child where you were. Then you are not a parent or you are not worthy for a parent. But yes, they can stay outside until 8, 9 o'clock, come home get enough sleep, get up in time, then if they are going out, then within reason, where they are going out, 
If they spend three hours outside, then where did they spend? Three hours, within reason. So don't give them absolutely blank check of autonomy, no carte blanche of autonomy, that you do whatever you want, you can spend your day outside, you can spend your night outside, whenever you feel like you come home, and when you don't feel like come home, you can just stay outside and relax yourself and enjoy yourself with your friends and peers. No, that is not enjoyment. That is the pavement of hell. These kids are paving the pavement to hell. These kids are actually making the road to hell because too much, too much, excessive amount of autonomy can definitely, undoubtedly, positively ruin the career of the kids. They spoil them, they can lead them to all kinds of illicit activities, all kinds of illegal, illicit activities. Point number four, no career guidelines. These parents never give them any kind of career guidelines. They are growing in the family like cattle. Like the cow is growing, we, whenever the cow is hungry, we throw some fodder, throw some grass, and that's all. No, we cannot raise our kids like cattle. We have to provide them the guideline, we have to provide them sure and sure and sure fire guideline what to do in life, what not to do in life. Life should be restricted, life should be Spartan, life should be led with discipline, discipline and discipline. Diligence, diligence and diligence. Dedication, dedication, dedication. If you don't have learnt three days in your life, your life is worth a shit. It's a worthless piece of shit. You don't have life to lead. You are leading your life just like animals. You are not man, but you are minimal, half man, half animal. Because animals are all, always wandering and lolling around the streets. Animals don't have home. Animals are on the patias, on the streets, on the roads. If you are also leading the life just like animals, then you think what you are. God bless every kid on this planet. Amen. Thank you very much. See you again next time. Bye.